Okay, one of the jobs I had to do this year was to replace the cutlass bearing and we wanted to do it with the propeller in place because uh, that made it a lot easier for us because the engine and gearbox uh, in this boat are very awkward to shift the um, prop shaft and there's no room to come behind. So we had a tool made up um, which is this uh, for uh, 14 millimeter studding bolts with some nuts to adjust it fixed one end into a plate with a clearance hole for a for the cutlass uh, bearing itself At the other end we've got a slot which will go obviously the propeller will fit in and we have here a piece of um, brass that my friend Nick made up uh, from an old skin fitting or something uh, to start pushing the, the bearing out with. Um, basically when, once you get it uh, assembled you put a tie wrap around it and then gently adjust these bolts up that will push in and it's really we only went in about that far just to get the um, cutlass bearing moving. Once it was moving we backed off and replaced it with this which is just mild steel it has been turned square at either end uh, for reasons which will become obvious when you actually do it because if, you, if you're pushing at an angle you'll be put you'll be t tending to try and twist the bearing and it will may stick so this is just standard stock bought from a well-known um, do-it-yourself place cut with a hacksaw down that way after it had been faced either end as I said. And that, again you just put a couple of tie wraps on it initially while you're starting and once it's got in about yay that far um, you don't need the tie wraps so you can cut them free and you push push through. And then to put the new bearing in on this particular boat it was very easy and could be done by hand but then again you just apply the tool but and this is a uh, ring which has a one inch clearance because that's the shaft on this, this boat is one inch. You fit that there and feed it through and again you can imagine the bearing just sits there and then you wind it through. If you imagine that's the bearing and you just wind it, push it back in until it meets, until it's equidistance in the P bracket and job done. The tool we had made at a local um, fabricator cost 30 quid. Um, I dare say, if you had, if you if you've got the ability to drill through, uh, this is what um, three eighths um, or thereabouts, 14 mil clearance holes. Um, if you have the ability to cut these slots and drill these holes, then fine, you can do it yourself and then save a bit of money didn't have that facility money well spent and we have a tool which we can use many many times okay gonna show you how this fits together just slide this on over the P bracket and then this slides over like so Push those together, put your nuts on. In practice we found that uh, you only needed to adjust two diagonal um, nuts rather than all four, but we had all four on and just kept the other two finger tight and then at, moved on one, at, um, one half a turn each time. So. To start the the process, oh, you have to take. Um, should remind you, there's a grub screw usually underneath and to one side. On this boat, it's actually a uh, a proper nut uh, bolt rather, with a hex head, which makes life a little bit easier. Anyway, so we drop the brass piece on, and then. 
like so. And then what we would do is adjust the nuts up and make sure that this is absolutely square onto the bearing. Which I can't do right from now. Like so. And centering this end, once you've got tension on, it is literally just a straightforward process of winding the old bearing straight out. So wind, just wind gently, steadily out, and it should come clear. If it doesn't, well, um, a little bit of heat applied to the P-bracket maybe. Um, you may need to give it a bit more of a nudge. Once, the, once you've got the bearing moving, you remove these. Okay, so, and again, and again a couple of tie wraps, possibly initially while you're moving it, just wind one and one, one and one, one and one, or if you've got two hands um, or two people then you can wind opposite sides at the same time and that will push the bearing straight out. Right, replacing the bearing is a case of dropping it in onto the shaft, or in on the shaft, before you put this on and then using the plywood disc that we've got there that is the pusher uh, to actually wind it in on again it's just wind it up against the, um, the threads of the tool and it pushes in on this particular uh, boat when we came to push the new one in that could be done by hand but that's what this is for Okay, the other item we have in the toolkit is this, which is um, just a bit bigger than the shaft. It reaches all the way through. And the reason for that was that the shaft inside actually had a lot of concretion because the boat had been left in the water for a long time and you got a build up. And this was used as a very gentle just run it up and down to remove the concretion from within uh, the actual shaft or in fact it was the shaft that was concreted and by running um, very gentle acid through and rinsing thoroughly we removed all of the concretions on the shaft within that area so push the new bearing in uh, reapply the grub screws to hold it in place job was done. In actual fact it took maybe 10 minutes to get the uh, bearing out, half an hour cleaning to get the concretion off the shaft and about two minutes to put it back in again. So all in all a, quite a nice interesting and satisfying exercise. Um, you don't really need these this, this brass fitting, you can do it with the steels um, but as Nick had the spare brass lying around in his odds and sods drawer uh, he very kindly made it up it's all beautifully done as he as is all his work so there we go